Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we'll be talking about inheritance, that's part 2. As in my previous video, I've explained to you that I've divided the inheritance sessions in multiple parts. In the part 1, we have seen what is inheritance and its need, what are the major rules and regulations you have to follow while doing inheritance, and finally we have seen a single example showing us how to create an inheritance in C++. So let's start again with the second part of our session. I hope you all know what is inheritance and what is the need of inheritance. So let's switch into the second part of it. That is types of inheritance. There are different types of inheritance possible in C++. Inheritance type in the sense, it may be possible you have a class, single class A, and you have some features in the class A, and you feel so that that features to be needed in class B, so you write class B inheriting class A. This is a simple inheritance where you have more than one class, that is two classes are involved and one is child class and another is a parent of it. This is the simplest one that is single inheritance. Okay. Second comes multi-level inheritance. Okay. That is class C. Now class C feels that it requires the feature of B. So here what happens class A gives all its features to class B, class B gives all features to class C. So what you have to understand is A's feature is gone to B and when B is given to C it will give A's feature plus B's feature also. So this is called your multi-level inheritance. The second comes, the third comes you can say is multiple inheritance. That is it may be possible you have two classes something like this class A and class B and class C says I'm publicly inheriting A and I'm publicly inheriting B so here class C is getting features from both the sides from A and B both so it is called your multi multiple inheritance third comes is the hybrid inheritance and the one more is there that is hierarchical inheritance that is what something like this I have not mentioned it but it is there that is hierarchical inheritance that is class A gives its data to B and class A even gives its data to C so here it comes an hierarchical inheritance let's see the hybrid inheritance so something like this class A gives its data to class B class C is having data from B and suppose class C is also having data from D. Suppose there is one more class D here. In that scenario what happens is here you are having at one scenario you are having multi-level and some scenarios you are having multiple inheritance also. So you can say in this way different types of inheritance is possible. Okay. Only thing is if you remove my previous four rules that is private is never been accessed in the child class protected if you inherit by protected manner then all the data from the parent class goes into the protected section if you inherit by private way in the child class then all the data of parent class that is protected and public goes in the private section and if you inherit by public then all the data as protected remains protected and public remains public in the child also if you remove the four rules then any type of inheritance comes into picture you can easily solve it now the question comes as I have told in the previous video I'll be explaining you what is the difference between private and protected now one of the problems what we are facing if before protected is that as you know that any data which is written in the public can be accessed outside the class with the help of object so you cannot put variables inside the public section that is clear before protected that we know and so the thumb rule goes in this manner was that the variables all goes in the private and method all goes in public that is fair enough but what happens if suppose class B inherits class A the private variables will not be accessed directly in class B so if someone wants to access it what he can do is either if suppose previously it was something like this so he has to change this uh, integer A and he has to put it to in public section because he wants the B should access it but what is happening here A is losing its security purpose or you can say that what is the major purpose of class that is to secure the data so if that is being lost if he if he does not do that then he, the inheritance features that is class B will not access it so we need something in between to that so C++ came up with a concept called protected 
what protected does is if you write variable something like this then first and foremost any variable which is detected in protected will be inherited based on the rules so it is not something like private that it will not be inherited so first and foremost problem is been solved that it the variables will be transferred to the child class second problem was that in public if you put variables it will be accessed from outside so will it be doing that no protective variables will only be accessed within the class that is same as private so it get all the features of private also plus it gets a feature of public so in this way we able to solve the security plus data sharing in the inheritance so this way this is the major difference why we have to use protected or in place of private in inheritance so now in thumb rule goes in inheritance cases most of the cases variable generally goes in protected those you want to share and all the method goes in the public section i hope so you have cleared the difference between private and protected now comes a simple example of inheritance we'll do something complex on to show it the same example as the previous here the first is a class it is having some variables it is having some methods and it is having the display method now in the public i am writing i am in the class second class i am saying publicly inheriting first so what happens whatever protected is there will come uh, will be accessed directly in the uh, second class and whatever public section will goes in the public also now for the scenario i have just shown you that i am having a set method in the parent class i am having a set method in the in the child class also now how is this possible now how if suppose any scenario comes like this this is a quite common thing so this is the same example so if i modify it something like this this is the most confusing part which students used to have if i call something like this can i do like this now here the question comes sir the, the set method i'm calling i want to call this set method now the problem number 1 is that when i'm calling set inside this second class always remember in inheritance whenever you call any method it first finds tries to find that particular method in the same class if it didn't find that method in the same class then only it will go and find in the parent class so if i call set method here you already have one set method how to differentiate it or because yes it is having overloading concept but if you if i want if it is of same argument also for differentiate purpose you can use class name first colon set method here it will not be a problem but to show you how such problems if any time occurs you can do in this way class name scope resolution method name so it will understand that it is talking about which particular set method the method which is there in the first class now the second problem students facing is that so you said the private variables will not be accessed i am saying will not be accessed okay so when you say set method set is a method which is there in the public section so and it is accessing private variables it is fine so i'm assigning some values let's see what happens in display in display also the display here the problem you can see see display here is the display with no arguments this display is also have no arguments but if i want to call parent display so i'll simply say display okay so let's see what happens let's save it and let's compile it so here you can say i can access the private variables and i'm displaying the values also how it is possible because i'm calling the parent one so i can't directly access the variables that is the what i want to show you with this example in inheritance you can access public and protective variables directly within this class private variable will not be accessed yes but through the method of the parent class you can access the private variables and you can assign values into it also so this is what one of the concepts i want to show you which is one of the misunderstandings many students used to have it but this with this example i hope so i have cleared it in this session we have seen what is inheritance types of inheritance different types what is the major difference between private and protected why we should put variables in protected section if you want to transfer and an example in which i have shown how multiple methods having same names can be solved this problem will be there with multiple inheritance of that that is i am inheriting from class a and i am inheriting from class b both having display then how to call from a display of a and display of b then with the help of class name you can differentiate and you can call appropriate methods the same way as we did it in the this method okay so i hope so i've cleared the doubts of this one in the part 3 session we will be seeing what is the difference what is the use of virtual based class and all okay what are the problems we are getting in hybrid inheritance and how that can be solved if you have any queries you can comment on this video you can find all relevant code related to this video from my blog we know the best.wordpress.com Don't forget to subscribe my videos. Thank you and have a nice day.